Aloha everyone, this is Lenora, Hawaii Speckle Lady. Today I'm going to show you how to make quick and easy energy bars. So first of all, we put some peanut butter in it, in a bowl. It's kind of sticky, but you want it to stick to your cereal. And then I'm going to pour some honey. And then mix it all up. And this is a good one for kids to help you with. They would enjoy this and it's very tasty. We've mixed up the peanut butter and the honey. We add some melted butter and that helps to make it loose. So again, it'll stick to the cereal. Just mix it up real good doesn't take long. You don't need a beater. You don't need any fancy ingredients. Everything is right here. The only thing you have to do is melt the butter in the microwave for about, oh, 15 seconds, okay? So no cooking, no stove involved. So this is really safe for the kids. And to make it healthy, I have here some wheat germ. Okay, mix it all up and it's kind of powdery. Just clean the bowl, get it all mixed up. And then I'm gonna add some walnuts. And this is really good, like I said, when you have kids because sometimes they just want something really fast and they can make it too. And this is good to pack in their lunches, to go on picnics, on a hike, uh, to give to friends, make it for Christmas, wrap it up. And now I have some golden raisins. These are a little different from your typical black raisins. These are just grapes that have been dried and uh, they're a different color, but they're sweet and nice. Mix up your golden raisins. And if you don't have golden raisins, you can substitute other things like regular raisins. You can substitute cranberries. You can substitute any kind of dried fruit, dried mangoes, cherries, all kinds. And to make it interesting, and kids always like chocolate chips, we're adding some chocolate chips. Mix that up real good. And Kids are any age from 1 to 99. So you can be a kid at heart too, and you can make this, okay? Now I have here whole wheat cereal. Just pour that in, mix this up. It's kind of sticky, but you want it to be sticky because the surprise element comes after this. Make sure all the cereal is coated in there really good. Now the best part, I told you it's a surprise, is I've uh, got to use my hand because it's hard. You have to make it into a ball carefully and then you roll it in coconut. And this has to be refrigerated so that it can be, uh, it can, the peanut butter can kind of harden too. So you make it like this. And just make sure your hands are clean. That's the main thing. I've washed my hands really good. A little tricky to do, but don't give up. Okay, now this dough, uh, I can roll it in my hand and I'm gonna roll it in coconut. And you don't need too much coconut. When it chills, it'll be firm so you can pick it up. And this needs to be kept in the refrigerator. So it might not be a good thing to pack for a long term, like a hike, unless you have a cooler and keep it nice and cool. But it's rolling really nicely in my hand.
And this makes quite a bit. It didn't seem that much. I'm just going to roll another one. Roll it in the coconut. And you can leave it like this. You don't have to do anything else except refrigerate it. They're all done. And I'm going to put them in the fridge for a couple hours so that they firm up a little bit. It's been a couple of hours, so I'm going to take out the energy balls. And you see, they've all hardened. So I'm going to put one on a plate and try it. And when you refrigerate it, the peanut butter, you can see now I, I can't... Uh, the others were really soft when we started, but now it's firm. So I'm going to try one now. Okay. Mmm. Really good. It's better than I thought it would come out. <laughs> Because it's crunchy, crispy, sweet, a little salty from the peanut butter. And you have the golden raisins in here. <clears throat> so everything is nice. So you've got to try it. It's really easy. And you can see how fast it was just to assemble this. The hardest part was rolling it and then putting it in the coconut. So. If you like this video, smash that like button, comment and subscribe because it helps my channel to do videos like this. And don't forget to click that bell so that you can be notified whenever I make new videos like this one. I want to thank all of you viewers and subscribers for supporting me because my goal has been accomplished. I want to teach the world to cook one dish at a time. And so the, the countries that have um, been watching, I'm, I'm really impressed and happy because they come from so far away. And without your support, I wouldn't be where I am today. So some of the countries are Myanmar, Jamaica, United Arab, United Arab Emirates, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, Italy, Sweden, Suriname, Scotland, England, Turkey, Taiwan, Jamaica, and the list goes on and on. I'm so happy and I hope that you will continue to support me by watching, subscribing if you haven't, and commenting. And if you have any suggestions, let me know and I'll put it on the list. But you have to be patient because my list is growing, but eventually I'll get to all of them. And so I thank you very much for watching. Mahalo. And see you all on the next video.